all, this is marketing legend Trinity Ranganathan and we are here finally in launch your dream artificial intelligence AI startup company and this is going to be season one and this is the first introductory video and uh, welcome to the course video before we actually start on the episode starting from the next uh, video here. Okay, so typically let us um, you know, think about how this course can make a complete difference. How this video tutorial is going to make a, a complete difference. How these episodes are making a complete difference, uh, you know, for your career and also for anybody's career who wants to start uh, an artificial intelligence company. Uh, the foundation, if it is good, always the skeleton of a business is the foundation. If that is good, then everything is going to be great, great, great. So. Typically, most of us uh, would have, uh, you know, uh, have uh, thoughts about starting a business, right? So it's a great, delicious thing, okay? It's it's like a delicious thing to start a business, okay? Uh, but in, fa in fact, uh, people may ask themselves, can I do it? Can I do it? How hard uh, it can be to start a business? Uh, and uh, some would have also even think that uh, uh, some people have a confidence confidence in them and they would think you know I want to create an impact an impact in this world with my business okay and some people would have thought about I want to create wealth for myself and you know for my family and for my partners okay the business partners then uh, people would uh, think about how uh, a typical idea would, uh, you know, correlate and become um, a huge business, correct? Uh, even a product, an app, correct? Or an, um, a game or a website, right? Can become a business. TikTok is a business. Ola is a business. It's an app, right? Right, Google, a search engine like Google, a website like your, uh, what do you call a company website, okay? A Facebook like social network, uh, YouTube like video streaming platform, or uh, you know, uh, think about uh, more uh, amazing te technologies. A Tumblr like social, you know, blogging platform, Tumblr, okay? This itself is a business. So, uh, you see, this is kind of a, a blogging platform where everybody can, uh, you know, write blogs uh, and all this stuff, follow blogs and all this stuff. And it's a great uh, social uh, reblogging and blogging platform. It's pretty good. Then, um, checking out more amazing technology, Anchor Podcast. That is a business. Anchor, Anchor.fm, right? Amazing, uh, you know, podcast, uh, uh, you know, easiest way to make a podcast platform. It's pretty good. It's an all-in-one platform where you can create, distribute, and monetize your podcast from any device completely for free. And it's pretty amazing. 100% free hosting and uh, distribution. Get paid to uh, podcast. Straightforward analytics and vice versa. Anchor also is pretty amazing. So then... Um, people want to do uh, so all this kind of you know uh, uh, you know another one is Radio King uh, Radio King uh, radio uh, dot co also is amazing so let me just open Radio King here and radio dot co uh, in uh, one more um, you know say uh, what do you call as um, uh, uh, you know page radio dot co it's how you create a radio station automate your broadcast from anywhere and track listeners and built for modern broadcasters the old way is this, the new way is this, how you create a radio station and all this stuff, a great solution, an online radio station that represents your brand and vice versa. Radio.co is amazing to the core. Then Radio King also is equally amazing. It's very good to start a broadcasting and all this stuff. Listen to hundreds of real radios, start your own online internet radio, boost the visibility of radio online, uh, create an application, build your own website and much more. So anyway, so all these are examples of businesses. Right. All these are examples of, uh, you know, different kinds of startup companies. Ola app. Okay. Ola app, olacabs.com. Amazing, uh, you know, uh, 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 stuff where a person, a people anywhere in the world, Uber, right? Uh, anybody can uh, book a city taxi to the destination of the choice and vice versa, right? Zoom car. Amazing. That also is uh, a great uh, one. Self-driving 
car rentals okay zoom car uh, pretty amazing in terms of that okay so i can select my city and all the stuff drive in a sanitized zoom car very good right fuel cost included no hidden charges and all this stuff so all these are examples of businesses now so uh, so a business can be anything then you want to use your strengths in a way that leads to deep value so your business should create a great sense of value if there is no value there is uh it's 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 not so great right so you want to accomplish you want your business to accomplish certain things and in order to do that you got to go and figure out your market first your market your market should be figured out guys your market has to be figured out if you're not able to figure out your target market if you're not able to figure out your target audience if you're not able to figure out your challenges your audience challenges that means what the users actually want so users might want something right so typically uh, a user would want something uh, to be achieved a user would want something to be actually uh, you know they want something they they desire something or they want something there are two different things they desire something they want something okay and you got to provide that thing in an innovative way that is a business very easy write it down guys see your users desire something they want something you got to provide that thing in a innovative way with the usp okay unique selling point unique selling point okay so what is the unique selling point it is what you make as it defines your product or service better than your competitors. You can look at some examples here of different unique selling points. They gave the example of Zappos here, okay? Uh, so you can look at the different uh, case studies of unique uh, selling points here. You can just Google that, okay? So typically that would work. So if, uh, then you need one, one ultimate thing to start your business. And that is what? Tell me guys, tell me thing, 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 thing yes passion passion if there is passion there are there is everything there right so passion is completely needed here guys you should not give up at any point of time passion is typically important and it is a must for any kind of business that drive the determination the fire the optimism the confidence right the certainty the faith in yourself matters the most okay so yes coming back today so what you'll be learning uh, in these days uh, up to 26 day here in season one uh, you'll be learning foundation ideas for your startup in day one from uh, the next video you'll be learning competitive research and website analysis how to uh, analyze your competition and your competitors websites day three will be product market research how how do you do a uh, uh, product market research and how do you reach out to your potential audience then target audience personal analysis and then uh, in day four that is uh, you know or analyzing who your typical uh, audience are be the Ravi or be the Rahul or be the uh, you know say uh, uh, Srinidhi that you got to figure out right so who is that Srinidhi who is your target audience then day five is finding a suitable name with AI. Day six is uh, for your brand because names are important. What's in a name? Everything is in a name. Day six is finding a suitable tagline to represent your brand. Day seven is finding a suitable logo. Um, day eight is uh, generating a privacy policy and terms. Day nine is website designing and content writing. That's equally important where AI will write eight lag lines of content automatically. All this stuff will see that hundreds of books. Uh, we'll see that. Uh, so a uh, video creation with AI technology day 12 day 13 is SEO for your website and video SEO day 14 is uh, SEO and uh, for website and video SEO day 15 is mobile app creation with AI technology day 16 is chatbot creation with AI technology day 17 is email marketing and lead generation with AI tools uh, it's equally important day 18 is social media with automation marketing with automation day 9 is social media advertising how you advertise to the masses through social media with AI and how, how automatically it is going to advertise for you that is what we are talking about robots doing audio digital marketing that is what is this course right then day 20 
PPC, Google Ads Campaign Management Automation. Day 21, website heat maps. What is a website heat map? Like people coming to your site, you can actually figure out who is coming to your site in terms of where they are clicking. You can actually be their eyeball, right? So I'll talk to you about that. You can see videos of people coming to your site, all this stuff I'll cover there. Then app analytics and reports, ASO, app store optimization, day 22, day 23, SMS and WhatsApp marketing, day 24, video marketing with AI, day 25, how to find freelancing projects, and day 26, what are marketing and growth hacking with artificial intelligence AI. Now all this stuff will be covered in this amazing, amazing, breathtaking tutorials of launch your deem ai startup now all this i have put forward in a playlist i'll put forward you can find the link in the description now click on the playlist and access all the videos one after one after one as soon as it, as it is uploaded okay so pretty uh, pretty amazing right so definitely i think this will completely change uh, your goal altogether okay and it's going to completely change any kind of person's uh, uh, you know mindset uh, I, this this is for any aspiring entrepreneur who is passionate about, uh, enough to start a business. It is for investors looking for better ways to distinguish winning founders and mentors. It is for uh, you know educators and trainers who want to help their students and clients to understand the upside and downside of entrepreneurial passion. And it is for anyone, any of my students and fans who are looking to uh, you know set the world on a positive note with their business right so definitely this is going to build your stamina and this is going to create an impact for you okay so uh, let's start off with one more thing here which uh, would uh, typically uh, help you in terms of uh, uh, when it comes to ideation is concerned okay so uh, you know everybody has a fear uh, that whether uh, you know say uh, whether this would uh, be a hit or a flop i'm talking about the hit and the flop technology hit or flop Okay, so whether a business is going to be a huge hit or it's going to be a complete flop. Now, what I'm able to say is, even if it is a flop, write it down. If it's a hit, no problem. But even if it is a flop, okay, you will learn from your mistakes. Most, most of the you know people get dejected. They get dejected when a business when their business fails, okay, or when something doesn't come up to the mark now what i'm able to tell you is you know go ahead th uh, you know thrash your own fears with the force of passion you can do that you have the sparks of entrepreneurial ambition in you the dis the, the dissatisfaction uh, would come in but when you know the eureka moment comes in the eureka moment is where you remember archimedes archimedes is a bacha right so that you just read it on Wikipedia, you'll understand about that, right? So, the bathtub concept, the bathtub. While taking a bath, Archimedes noticed the level of the water in the tub rose as he got and realized that this effect would be able to determine the volume of the crown, right? Water is incompressible, so the submerged crown would displace an amount of water equal to its own volume, it seems, right? So, by dividing the mass of the crown by the volume of water displays, the density of the crown could be obtained. The density would be lower than that of gold if cheaper and less dense metals could be added. So, you know, this is where, uh, you know, Archimedes understood about the uh, ultimate you know, concept. He was a Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor, and astronomer, and one of the greatest leading scientists in classical antiquity. Right. So, amazing guy, amazing guy in terms of uh, you know getting some uh, eureka moments the, then and there. Right. So, what I'm able to tell you is, um, so you have to get that eureka moment here and then. Then only you can, you'll be able to create an amazing business. And the, the, before this, I told you that dejection and all, no, that is where you would think you are at the point of no return. Write it down. This is a classical concept. The point of no return, when people think it would happen um, and all this stuff, it's a point of uh, no return. Okay. And, uh, you know, false beliefs uh, would be made real at that point of time, would be made real. Like uh, the false belief would come from... Uh, uh, you know, your, 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 or your uh, close uh, people around you, they would say this would fail, this would not work, uh, you are a loser and all this stuff, right? So at that point of time, you got to rise with motivation, you got to rise with confidence, with a power in you to create a difference. And that power would make 
you know, most of the failures to succeed. Okay, so um, I think you got a great deal of an intro here. Always remember, when you try to build a product, when you try to build a product, the audience will not come immediately, instantly. Well, they're not going to come. Okay, it's not a money tree uh, that you're creating. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes hard work. It takes uh, a lot of a lot of you know a uh, a lot of your sweat, <laughs> right? To uh, you know to come up in your business. And when you're starting from scratch, you got to uh, you know attach your mindset to your startup. That's how you're gonna evolve, guys. There is no magic recipe to succeed. The only magic recipe that I would call it to succeed is passion. With passion you can move places. And obviously you need knowledge in that particular area. A lot of knowledge uh, in that particular area that your, your startup is on, right? So you gotta be researching I think around three to four hours a day. Only on that, uh, only on that, only on that particular idea uh, or that you your startup delves on right so that is what I'm all telling you delves on so that is what uh, I, I, I gotta tell you right so the good news what uh, I would I'd be telling you is you gotta figure out your own way of creating success okay through your idea and that idea has to be unique that idea has to be Amazing and you yourself if you don't love the idea, how will others like it? You should love that idea as you love your start. You should love that idea guys as you love your Startup simple as that. Okay, so today let's look at a bonus tool right now and before we end with the introduction session, I want uh, you to see that bonus tool uh, This is an amazing tool coming up right now in two minutes. Okay, so uh, typically uh, we'll start with quad help, S Q U A D help.com slash business hyphen name hyphen generator. Now, this is called AI for visual name search. Uh, you gotta take a small quiz and then you can receive hundreds of startup names. Now, in fact, before we come to the AI power name search and custom name ideas from real people and ready to use name collection, uh, and these kind of names are remarkable, contextual, appealing, functional, available, and all this stuff. First, let's look at a startup idea, right? So your startup idea is kamogo.com slash phi. That is a website you gotta go and look for your startup idea. kamogo.com slash phi. So now I can generate a lot of ideas. Pinterest for scientists, okay, is that your startup idea? Netflix for artists, okay? So we'll take something guys. Netflix for artists we can take, okay? So it keeps on uh, a lot of uh, ideas it gives. Big Data Analytics for IT, so, oh my god. Bing for peasants. Uh, Starbucks for pirates. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, Spotify for all. Okay, 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 cool. YouTube for lawyers. Pa PayPal for pilots. Okay. So Netflix for, what did we pick? What did we pick? I keep forgetting. Netflix for, um, okay, let's pick Netflix for, for superheroes or no we are not a superhero anyways for CEOs okay Netflix for CEOs okay that's pretty good so an app idea you can also generate through appideagenerator.com uh, let's keep the website idea as uh, what do you call as uh, app idea but this also will give you Netflix for organizing conferences uh, you know Craigslist for comic book meetups and we have a barcode reader for young parents. We have all this stuff, right? So Craig likes for singers. Okay, cool. So Netflix uh, will have it, okay? Uh, for singers, that's also is pretty good. So I match this and that to create one. So let's create a Netflix for only singers, okay? So uh, before going on to the next one, this is also there. Brew, B-R-E-U-E dot -E com slash good uh, underscore startup underscore ideas. This also will give you a lot of ideas, guys. A lot of ideas you can go and look at that okay uh, okay cool so brew also is good now Netflix for singers see that is the idea here so now we got to go to this business name uh, squad help right squad help choose the industry of the choice so it's got to be singing so I'm going to choose uh, 
what should I choose song music music and audio that's fine generate names okay click on generate names Did I click on it yes I clicked on it I clicked on it I'm gonna click on okay so Netflix for singers what what I gonna name it musically artist Sky skybeat fancy librango Voxy mom your bender omnias giggle patch the harmony that seems to be amazing right so we have more uh, river beige uh, Mammon and Fox Stella Rising Harmony Rising is also good. I combine that with this Beyond Alaska Iva uh, Poor Blood uh, you, you have Zimbal uh, uh, What is this forward focus? I want to take IQ on point and style well, a lot of names have been generated So let me pick harmony and let me pick one more here parody in harmony or something like that Maven and harmony Trolla harmony or whatever it is uh, So sky harmony is if you pick that name that will be pretty good. So Pretty good. So, uh, so today, uh, typically we have looked at, um, you know, something called Netflix for singers. Okay. Netflix for singers. So we have picked that as, uh, as a foundation for our company. So if you create a company as Netflix for singers and name it, what, what is it called guys? Oh my God. I keep forgetting the name. Let's name it harmony. And what did we keep? What did we keep? Uh, harmony beyond harmony. What do I keep it that beyond Harmony. Well, let's make it double end. Okay. Beyond Harmony or Harmony. That also is fine. Beyond Harmony is the name of a company or the, the website or the app or whatever it is. And uh, tomorrow, uh, let's uh, look at the first one. Let's look at the day one foundation ideas. So, what is the typical foundation that we are going to do for this? Uh, you know, taking this example, right? So, we'll look at that tomorrow. Until then, um, you know, uh, relax and, uh, you know, go through all the websites that I taught you today. Go through some of, uh, you know, the tips that I gave you today about starting uh, your own startup company, right? So it is very, very much, um, you know, important uh, because the entrepreneur, your passion you have in you is what is going to hit the market by storm, guys. It's going to be the dazzling effect that, People will go insane about you need insanity here um, if you want to win in this world you need insanity typically as that insane for success it's insanity for success we are looking for you should have the urge in you to create a difference you should have the urge in you for success you will achieve that you will do it you are going to win if you are then only if you tell yourself you're a winner you will be a winner for sure this is marketing legend Srinidhi Ranganathan Yes, that is my name, Sridhi Ranganathan, signing off from Digital Marketing Legend CEO. Okay, you can ask Google. Sometimes I ask Google, who is Digital Marketing Legend? Okay, and answer throws up, Sridhi Ranganathan, Digital Marketing Legend. Bye bye. Thank you for now. See you in episode one of this mind blowing course or tutorial. Bye bye.